Hello everyone. This video walks through completing packet tracer assignment 6.2.2.4, configuring trunks. This packet tracer assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS routing and switching essentials version 6 curriculum. Now in the first lab we did, uh, we configured the packet, the the VLANs for the end devices. So for instance, PC4 here is in VLAN 10, PC1 is in VLAN 10. So we go into interface FA011 on switch 3 and switch 2 and configure them to be it, to carry that one VLAN. Now again, they only need to carry one VLAN to the end device unless there's that voice setup where it'll carry the voice VLAN separately over that same interface. So if it's an end device, switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN, whatever one is carrying. So for instance, FA06 here should be switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 30. Now, if PC1 wants to talk to PC4, it's got to traverse over S2, S1, and S3. So that means between the switches, we need something different than switch port mode access because switch port mode access will only carry one VLAN. We need switch port mode trunk. Trunk links can carry multiple tagged VLAN traffic. So 20 can still talk to PC5 because it's still got to go over switch 2 to switch 1 to S3. Okay, so how do we configure that? Well, here we need to identify what ports they are, and it's G01 and G02. Okay, so on S1, okay, we're going to go into interface G0. Oops, let's go to enable first, configuration mode. Interface G01 through 2. Let's do interface range. G01 through 2. Now remember our interface range command, we can set up multiple ports to be the same exact commands. Only if they're the same exact commands. Can't be one letter difference. So here we'll do switch port mode trunk. Now both ends must be in trunking mode. So you'll actually see these kind of go down. Okay. Then we need to set up a management VLAN. The management VLAN is going to be 99. So we'll do switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Okay, that will set up VLAN 99 to carry all of the management traffic between it. Okay, now also you'll see it pop up and say there's a mismatch because VLAN 99 the management the native VLAN must also match for the other end of the connections so we need to go to S1 and S2 and do the same thing now S2 only has interface G01 okay switch 1 had it going from both directions this one's only G01 so switch port mode trunk okay and then switch port trunk native VLAN 99 and you'll see it said port consistency restored okay because again VLAN 99 is now my native VLAN and it's in trunking mode now on S3 we only need to do this for interface G02 because that's the port it shares with S1 so switch port mode trunk switch port trunk native VLAN 99 and you see my port consistency sorry about that pop up my port consistency is restored okay so the two commands that you need are switch port mode trunk after you go into the specific interfaces you want and switch port trunk native VLAN and then whatever number you happen to be using it's not always 99 you can choose any VLAN that you want just make sure it's consistent across all your trunk links so the trunk link will allow multiple traffic to be able to flow across these links okay now again if you do a show VLAN brief okay you'll see we've got our native VLAN here that they had created okay now that concludes this particular lab assignment again we've kind of pieced this together first lab assignment we did the end devices doing access mode switch for access VLAN whichever one VLAN it wanted to carry now we're doing the stuff between okay the switches from switch to switch doing a trunk link and setting the native VLAN now in the next one if you keep going 
we're going to do uh, we're going to bring it all together with um, inner VLAN routing as well as a wider uh, legacy version. Now, again, this only allows PC1 and PC4 to talk, PC2 and PC5 to talk, PC3 and PC6 to talk because they're in the same VLAN. But PC1 cannot talk to PC5, PC1 cannot talk to PC6. They're in different VLANs. But what if I want them to be able to con connect or contact other VLANs? Stay tuned to the next lab.